All right, we're back. Okay, so there seemed to be a m little mishap with the recording, so we missed probably about seven to eight minutes worth of recording time. But uh, not to worry, I can uh, I can get you guys through this. Not too much has happened since then. Um, you know, just went around collecting more bushes and and uh, and uh, twigs and um, grass tufts and planted those all in specific areas. See, I'm uh, lining them up. I'm kind of a meticulous person that way. I'm gonna grab some of uh, this. Why waste logs when we can uh, burn some pine cones, right? You can see to my left I have uh, a crock pot. That takes um, takes a cut rock, um, six charcoal, um, and charcoal's real easy to do. Just uh, grab your, make yourself a torch, um, which is some basic elements. And then I typically I'll find a tree that uh, that's already gone past its season and it's just a withered twig. And I'll burn that down. It also burns quicker that way. And then you just chop it. Grab yourself some. Uh, okay, gonna organize here a bit. Sorry. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then just. Um, sorry. Um, okay. Anyways. Yeah. So um, you just uh, chop down that tree. Grab yourself some charcoal, get six of those, and voila, you got yourself a crock pot. Crock pots are great. They are going to be some of your best friends during winter because the beautiful thing about crock pots is once you throw some ingredients in there, get that thing cooking, and the food pops to the surface, it does not expire. Now, hopefully, <laughs> they don't offer an update where that does expire. They haven't yet so far that I've seen on the PC version, but... Um, but right now, it does not expire, and so crockpots are your best friend for preserving food um, for meals for the future. So I grabbed some manure while I was up near in the beefalo, and uh, and so that way I can get the berry bushes. Berry bushes, if you're going to if you're going to plant all your crops, berry bushes, grass tufts, and um, twigs. Twigs don't need manure. Grass tufts do, and so do berry bushes. Me personally, I like to fertilize the berry bushes first um, because those um, those are going to be some of your stronger assets during the winter, at least the first winter to come. Um, but I have some dividend of fertilizer, so we're going to lay it down on the grass tufts, get those bad boys going, because we got plenty of time before winter. Winter is day 21, for those of you who don't know. So that's, we're trying to race the clock. I built some traps, that's real simple. It's just uh, twigs and some, and some grass tufts, nothing major. Whip those together, throw them over the hole, and uh, you should be able to trap at least one to two bunnies per day, per trap. And, uh, and they last, I think, for about five traps, something like that. So they should really help out. As you can see at the top there, um, well, sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying, um, if, you, uh, if you noticed up at the top, um, I threw some traps down at the spider's nest. And that, I found, is kind of the safest way to collect um, spider elements. They'll walk under those, they'll get trapped, and you can collect the goods and get monster meat and glands and silk and all that good jazz um, without having to get harmed in the process. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing later on with that spider web is um, I'm going to wait until it gets to its third tier. Spider webs have three tiers it turns into. It starts up on the first one, the second one it yields more more spiders, third one yields more spiders, and if you let it sit for too long on the third tier, it can has a potential of turning into a queen spider, um, which is not a pretty thing, um, but still destructible, so it's not all lost. But anyways, so I wait till the third tier, and then I like to... Um, like to collect all the spider goods and then chop it down, and it will give you a nice, uh, a nice little, a nice little uh, spider pod in order to plant to make your own um, spider area to collect stuff near your base. But we're gonna do that a little bit later, and you'll you'll see what I'm doing. So right now, I uh, my my head garland was uh, running low on juice, and so I'm collecting some more some more petals to get that head garden going until we can get a top hat 
And uh, like I said before, my brain, my brain and sanity meter isn't uh, isn't running low. But you know, I found in this game that I die way more from insanity than I do from starvation. Star starvation is the least of my worries once you start getting into the later, later, latter parts of this game. So, uh, the more you can keep your sanity meter up, the better. But that's not to say you want to waste the petals. Um, they are a precious commodity, so you want to make sure that if you don't need them, then leave them be. Don't pluck them if you don't need them. But later on, we're also going to be planting petals, and I'll show you how to do that uh, near your base, and so that way we'll have an ample supply of flowers nearby. So if we do get in a pinch, there, there is that way, as well as um, three other two yeah two other ways beyond that that I know how to get ourselves back in the in the sane region again so right now I realize I need more gold because without gold there are a few things that I can't create right now in order to move forward one more specifically is uh, a lightning rod ooh here we go I was looking for some of that uh, some of that hard surface. Where there are hard surface, there are rocks. Voila, here we are. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna be collecting some of that gold because we wanna make Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we want to make uh, lightning rods, and that is what is going to preserve your crops from getting all lightning need or whatever you want to call it. So oh, here we go. We got ourselves chess people, or gear people. I, I never actually looked up what they're called. Anyways, I call them chess people. But uh, I'm going to circle around them. I am definitely not going to engage right now because they can be a little powerful and I don't have any body armor on right now. But we are going to come back, and what's neat is after dying many, many times from these fine folk, I have learned a fun technique in order to move forward and uh, c collect all the spoils without getting touched hopefully once so um, I'm gonna show you guys that as well but that's gonna be a little bit later on so we'll let them sleep away and we'll move on to our to our gold expedition okay ooh here we go Nice! Chester! So we have now the eye bone. I'm gonna throw him over to the left because, I don't know, I just like to have him there. Awesome! So you're gonna see, oh, I can hear him. You're gonna see a little fuzzy creature which looks like a pumpkin, at least I thought it was a pumpkin at first, but he is actually a fuzzy horned creature. And he is beautiful. I love Chester. Why? Because he is a chest. And you can drop all your goodies in there, and he will follow you to the ends of the earth as long as you have the eye bone in your inventory. I love it. Oh, oh, okay. See, I'm not paying attention to my health. There we go. Good thing I had enough on supply. That's why I always like to make sure I have enough of most of everything, um, or should I say the essentials, food, twigs, and bush, um, and uh, grass tufts and flint and logs, because... Those are the ones you're typically going to need the most, right, right in a pinch. But yeah, so Chester is awesome. He is going to follow me to the ends of the earth and allow me to put all my junk in his mouth. And he will hold on to it until we get back to the base and unload it. So it's just that much storage space. I love it. Got some bees. Now, one thing I will say about Chester is, one thing I will th say about Chester is that he he uh, he can die. Uh, it takes a while for him to die. I'll say that much. I can't remember how much health he has on him, but uh, it takes quite a few hits for him to die. I mean, you basically have to leave him in the midst of enemies in order for him to die. Um, so, but uh, but he can die nonetheless, and he will drop all your stuff. But he will come back. I think it takes three or four days for him to come back, and your little eye bone will just go to sleep, and and uh, and then he'll return. But uh, but it kind of sucks when it drops all the parts, and you don't have enough in your inventory in order to in order to take it all back to your base. So that's always a bummer too. What 
other than that, he is one handy dude to have around. And we play the waiting game. Okay, I'm impatient. With that pickaxe. And here we are. We're about to hit that. Ooh, here we go. Nice. Free gold. I'll always take that. Now, one thing I, uh, I've noticed in the past, and it's not affirmed by any means, um, so you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, or cor <laughs> correct me on most things if I'm wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I've, I've got most of it down. Um, when it comes to the lightning, uh, I believe it only strikes roughly where you are. Now, the fires will continue to grow when you leave when you leave this, the area, but, um, but as far as lightning goes, if you st Oh, here we go, tall bird. Okay, so these guys are called tall birds. The only thing they want to do is protect their nest. But what I want to do is I want to collect their meat because they're going to give us some nice big chunks of meat that we're going to be able to throw in our crock pot later and have a nice full stomach. So as brutal as it sounds, I'm going to kill this mommy for his meat and then steal, steal her eggs. So with the tall birds, um, most, most enemies in this game, it's pretty much a principle of striking, walking away, striking, walking away, and just kind of repetitively going through that motion, letting them swipe or do whatever they do, and uh, and then take them down. Uh, but everyone has a tolerance, so you can only swipe them so many times, and tall birds I found typically only once. You can, you can strike them. You might be able to get a lucky second strike in there, but most of the time you wind up getting hit and it's not fun, especially when you don't have armor. So I would recommend if you don't, if you don't have armor and you're not, and you're not a risk taker, I would say, one, and you're willing to actually attack them, I would say one, one strike uh, and then move away and, and repeat. Yeah, so like I was saying about the, uh, the rain, I, I, this is just a theory on my part, but um, from what I've seen is lightning typically strikes where you are on the screen. It strikes around you. And so um, I found that if I haven't set up a lightning rod yet and I already have an established crop at my base that I don't want to burn down, I'll run away from my base just for a short time until I can do exactly what I'm doing now, which is collecting gold um, and whatever other elements I need in order to build that lightning rod um, just to kind of keep my base safe. Now, like I said, that's not confirmed. I really am not 100% sure on that. But um, but so far it's worked out well for me. I've ran away from my base a number of times, and the light whenever the lightning strikes is typically near me. I'll come back once the rain's gone, and we're good to go. So that's that's one tip. You can take it to the bank, or you can you can say nay, whatever. But uh, but yeah, that's that's my theory on that one. So we're starting to look good on the gold. Gold is like logs. You can't carry more than 20. So bear that in mind as you're as you're uh, collecting in your in your inventory. Make sure you have room for it because you can only carry so much. So much per slot, should I say? Sorry. Okay, so it looks like we're starting to run out of time here, so uh, stay tuned for part four, and we will be rocking and rolling. Thanks for watching the Don't Starve walkthrough guide from 3FG. 
3FG is a small community of gamers that is constantly growing from PC to console to mobile gaming. We cover the whole gamut, so stay tuned for more videos to come, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Did that sound good, Daddy?